hi everyone in the previous tutorial we learned how to make uh, how to load grammar and unload grammar okay in this tutorial we are going to learn another part of uh, Jarvis very important okay we are going to make some uh, pass and resume uh, function for our Jarvis for example if Jarvis is uh, reading a sentence um, a uh, big sentence like uh, for example it's uh, a big uh, big response he's uh, reading the big response and then you can say stop talking we are going to make function for stop talking okay for this we have to need we need to add some commands to our our Jarvis program for this we are going to use a we are going to make a new command we will call it st stop talking okay stop talking stop talking Jarvis like this okay and then what we have to do I have written the code over here for example if I want to pass the uh, st stop uh, the Jarvis I will use this one okay let me tell you what it is we are going to use a if statement and then we are going going in a speech synthesizer okay a speech synthesizer variable name Jarvis then we are going to use this speech synthesizer dot state okay we are going to to use this state uh, function and then uh, we are going to is equal equal synthesizer state okay this is a speech synthesizer uh, system dot speech synthesizer enum okay then we are going to use speak speaking or here there's more things you can do with this it's past read, ready and speaking we are going to use the speaking okay if the J Jarvis uh, synthesizer state is speaking when the Jarvis is replying when the Jarvis is uh, reading the text okay then we Jarvis dot speak async cancel all we will cancel it okay we will cancel the Jarvis speak okay okay now after that okay we are going to make another command okay we will call it we will call it pass okay we will call it pass for this what we have to do we are going to use this one the same thing but it has a different uh, let me change this one to Jarvis okay this is also we are using if statement if you want to make braces you can make a curly brackets but I don't need it okay I will remove it okay Jarvis if uh, we are using if statement if is Jarvis dot state synthesizer state is speaking then Jarvis dot pass okay it will pass the pass okay another thing we uh, we can use for for Jarvis it's to resume because if it's pass then we can resume okay resume for the resume I I will use the same method okay the same method if it Jarvis synthesizer state is equal past if it is past okay then we will resume okay let me change the synthesizer Jarvis okay if the Jarvis synthesizer state is past then we Jarvis dot resume this will resume okay when he's speaking something he when he's reading something when you say pass it will pass okay it will pause the uh, the reading 
and when you say resume it will start from that that position okay jarvis jarvis will resume okay now we are going to add this to our local commands okay this command has to be not in grammar okay not in load grammar okay default commands this one has to be in unload grammar okay we are going to load this to unload grammar okay we will we are going to write it in unload click on files file explorer and then uh, documents and then visual studio project hey jarvis this is name of our project then bean then debug and this is let me tell you okay when we are making environment dot current directory this is the meaning that it's a debug folder okay this in the this debug folder is our local and uh, current directory okay environment current directory this is the debug folder okay or here you can see we are loading the grammar from this current directory okay and then concatenate then our text file name okay before text file name you just be careful you have to uh, put uh, to forward slash okay okay now we are going to add this in our debug folder okay in unload commands okay in unload commands we are going to use stop talking uh, just wait it's you make sure that you don't put uh, capital letters okay stop talking Jarvis and then the other one is uh, pause and the other one is resume okay and then save it now we have these commands okay and that three commands we add edit okay stop talking Jarvis pause and resume okay let me show you how this will work okay for example if we uh, if we make another command okay like for example what is who are you okay for example who are you and then Jarvis dot speak speak async I am your uh, and my name is Jarvis. If you, my name is Jarvis. I can.
to you for for example this is very big sentence for Jarvis okay when he is reading then you can pause it or you can pause it and or you can say directly stop talking it will cancel this okay it will cancel speak async okay cancel all okay now we are going to save it and we are going to use a uh, no I misspelled I will ask who are you okay I will add this command who are you to our text file unload text file no we are going to use an, uh, this one in default command okay when I say hey Jarvis who are you okay now in the default commands I have it now close it let's test it out hey Jarvis hey Jarvis who are you I am your personal ASIS stand and my name is Jarvis I can read email weather report I can search web for you stop I talking can fix your appointment anything like stop talking ASIS stand do you can ask question and I will reply to you no it's not working maybe I did some kind of a mistake to make it over here dot pass Jarvis dot resume okay something like this okay if Jarvis is passed then resume and Jarvis cancel all okay now what's wrong with this when I said hey Jarvis who are you then he's reading okay now let's check it out again hey Jarvis who are you Hey Jarvis. Hey Jarvis. Who are you? I am your personal assistant and my name is Jarvis. Stop I talking. Email weather report. I can search web for you. Stop I talking. Your appointment. Anything my personal assistant do. Stop you talking. Question and I will reply to you. Pause. Hey Jarvis. Who are you? Who are you? Pause. 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 Oh yes, yes, yes. Because we we did something wrong. Okay, let me tell you what we did. We have to make these commands. Okay, we are loading the grammar, default grammar. Then we have to do this we have to put this in default uh, in a in our default grammar okay a default for uh, grammar for uh, text file okay okay now I will save it who are you and then stop talking and pause and resume okay now this will gonna work okay Or we can do it now stop talking okay let's test it out hey Jarvis hey Jarvis who are you I am your personal pause and see now it's working resume hey Jarvis resume my name is Jarvis I can read email weather report I can search web stop talking I can fix your appointment 
stop talking. Jarvis, stop talking. Now let me check again. Hey Jarvis, who are you? I am your personal assistant. Stop talking, Jarvis. See, now it's working. When I said stop talking, Jarvis. The date is February 23rd. Now listen, uh, you are another thing I I I have to say. Stop talking, resume, and yes, let me test it out once again. Okay. Hey Jarvis. Hey Jarvis. Who are you? I am your personal assistant, and my name is Jarvis. Stop I talking, Jarvis. Now you can see it's cancelled. Okay. Now this is. This is how you can make a uh, stop talking and pause and resume. Okay. This tutorial is finished over here. I will make uh, new tutorials about uh, how to design uh, animated uh, interface for WPF application. Or I will also try to make uh, about email and Gmail reader tutorial and please subscribe to my channel and tell me what kind of tutorial should I make you can share your ideas how can make we make this Jarvis program better and better okay thank you very much for your support and goodbye from now see you in next tutorial bye from now